Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. I'm Jewel, and welcome. Welcome to my channel. Today's topic is National Kidney Foundation's Dr. Matthew Cooper to testify before Congress. This information is coming from the National Kidney Foundation, so let's get started. Congress must pass H.R. 5534 to extend immunosuppressant drug coverage. New York, New York, January 8th, 2020, which is today, the National Kidney Foundation's Board of Directors member, Dr. Matthew Cooper, will testify on Wednesday, January 8th, before the U.S. House of Energy and Commerce Health Subcommittee to support H.R. 5534, a bill which would make immunosuppressant drug coverage available to all kidney transplant patients and remove the 36-month limit for Medicare coverage currently in place. The Comprehensive Immunosuppressant Drug Coverage for Kidney Transplant Patients Act, if signed into law, would provide critical access to drugs that work to prevent rejection of the donated organ by a patient's immune system. Currently, Medicare only covers the cost of the important drug treatment for 36 months after a transplant unless the individual is Medicare age or Medicare disabled. However, a patient must take immunosuppressant drugs for the life of the transplant or risk organ failure. If patients cannot afford the drugs after Medicare is exhausted and the organ fails, they must go on dialysis or be fortunate to receive another transplant to survive. Medicare coverage lifetime dialysis for all patients who do not have other means to pay for the costly multi-week treatments and pay for a treat, excuse me, a pre-transplant. As a transplant surgeon for nearly 20 years, I have witnessed firsthand the impact of this short-sighted policy. Dr. Cooper will testify Patients struggle to pay for the immunosuppressant drugs needed to maintain the health of their transplant when their Medicare coverage ends, especially lower income patients who lack group health insurance or do not qualify for Medicaid or other assistance. These financial pressures might force a patient into rationing their immunosuppressant drugs or foregoing them altogether either of which almost absolutely results in RAF failure. Medicare coverage of immunosuppressant drugs for kidney plans, transplant patients will not only save lives, but save taxpayers money, said NKF CEO Kevin Legino, a kidney transplant recipient. When patients cannot control, when patients cannot afford their medication, they often skip doses or are forced to make difficult choices between paying for basic necessities and paying for medicine they need to prevent organ failure. This legislation will put an end to that practice, an unintended consequence that is forcing patients into unimaginable circumstances. Dr. Cooper of the MedStar Georgetown Transplant Institute in Washington, D.C. will testify that dialysis costs Medicare about $86,000 per patient per year, while immunosuppressant drug coverage costs just $2,300 per year per patient. Each transplant costs about $110,000, Cooper will testify. If Medicare would provide immunosuppressant drugs, treatment for life, an estimated $300 million will be saved in the first 10 years, Cooper reports. As a taxpayer, it is doubly frustrating that Medicare will pay for dialysis and for the first and second transplant, but will not pay for the medicines needed to maintain and preserve the first transplant, Cooper will testify. Cooper will tell the committee that H.R. 5534 will reduce graft loss, reduce demand for another transplant, enable more patients to seek 
a first transplant and protect the taxpayers from efficient and wasteful expenses. The National Kidney Foundation, NKF, worked closely with the bill's sponsor on its introduction and calls on Congress to pass this life-saving legislation. NKF is America's largest and oldest health organization dedicated to the awareness and prevention and treatment of kidney disease for the estimated 37 million adults with chronic kidney disease, CKD, and tens of millions of people at risk of CKD. As an organization that has successfully advocated to improve coverage of immunosuppressant drugs for transplant recipients, NKF applauds the committee for hearing for the hearing on HR 5534 and especially recognizes representatives Ron Kind and Michael Burgess for introducing this bipartisan legislation and for their historic leadership in this important issue. Dr. Cooper is a transplant serving surgeon serving as the director of kidney and pancreas transplantation at the MedStar Georgetown Transplant Institute. He is actively involved with many patient advisory boards and professional societies. In addition to NKF's board of directors, Cooper serves on the foundation's transplant task force and public policy committee. He has recently served as co-chair of the NKF Consensus Conference on Decreased Kidney Discards. Okay, everyone, this is National Kidney Foundation's Dr. Matthew Cooper to testify before Congress. Okay, guys, this is a big deal. This is happening today. And hopefully and prayerfully, this bill will pass for all those like me who are on transplant and future um, transplant patients who will not have to worry about their immuno immunosuppressant drugs, you know, um, not being able to afford them to keep their kidney, which, of course, um, if you don't take your in immunosuppressant drugs, you will lose your, um, your transplanted organ. So this is a very, very big deal for all of us in the kidney community that have transplants and future people that will need transplants because this bill will will um, get rid of the anxiety and the worry that most of us feel when it comes to um, immunosuppressant drugs. Of course, we have to take them every day in order to keep our kidney. So this um, bill that hopefully will pass will help all of us to keep our health um, in optimal, in optimal um, well-being. So guys, if you like this video and find it useful in any way, please like, share, and subscribe. And to all those CKD patients who are transplant recipients like I am, please pray, keep your fingers crossed that this bill will be passed because we really need it. You know, um, it's very, very difficult, you know, on that 36 month um, um, uh, bill that they passed many, many years ago is no longer valid for any of us that have transplants. So, guys, um, take care of yourselves and have a great day. Bye.